Alright, welcome back. Here we are at the Ida School Part 2, Episode Butterfly City and Heaven's Cradle. Chapter 2, A Shadow Approaching the City. Strange things are happening in Ida City. To start with, Aldo encounters the white uniformed group again at the hospital. <gasps> the people. We've got our Part 2 group ready already. Hmm, those I or those white coats. You must be from idea. I heard there was a fire at the hospital. Yes, we've been having lots of people coming to ask about that. However, to the best of my knowledge, there has been no fire. It's a false alarm. So this too wasn't true. Is this some sort of practical joke? The city east flood was also made up. No, it's too early to dismiss it all as a prank. This is going to be a long day. Aisuka, you've been investigating these incidents? Of course she has. We've been flooded with incident reports. I split them between the council members and sent them off to look into it. But in most cases, we couldn't find anything, so it seems the reports were fake. There's no flooding in City East. No one has actually seen a mysterious flying object in Aqua Hills. Even the hospital fire was just a baseless rumor. It's really odd though, so many made up stories all at once. They're not all fake though. The clock tower does seem to be broken, and swarms of butterflies have been seen in various parts of the city. For that reason, I decided to launch a more detailed investigation. Let's see what turns up. Can I lend you a hand with it? It's got me intrigued. Besides, I owe you for helping me out a number of times. You don't need to ask. Besides, it's thanks to you that we solved the Saki's Dream World case. Thanks. Where do I start? Right here in this hospital. I've already checked this floor and nothing seemed out of the ordinary. See if you can sniff out anything upstairs. Do, do, do. Let's go. Let's start sniffing. I'm just going to walk up the stairs here. Oh, we gotta keep going upstairs, huh? Another upstairs? How high up are we going? Freaking those, man. Oh, so many people here. Good lord. The heck? Why is only this floor so crowded? Hmm. <laughs> Only I could have this many subjects in my kingdom. Oh, Claude's here too. Are you working on this case together with Aisuka? Yep. If Aisuka thinks there's something to it, nine times out of ten, she's right. She has a nose for difficult cases. I'd be relieved if it turned out just to be mass hysteria or a series of pranks, though. Anyway, why are there so many people here? Let's think about it. Hmm. Why do people come to a hospital? Jokes aside, it is odd that only this floor is jam-packed with patients. Have they all suddenly been afflicted with the same illness? Let's see what they're all lining up for. We've been waiting in line here for hours. Then you've got guys at the front clowning around holding everyone up. Ah. <sighs> If we don't get there before nightfall, we'll disturb their sleep, thereby ruining their health and defeating the point of our visit. Is there like, okay, let's go. Up here. Boy, there is just like a whole freaking line here, isn't there? Good lord. Excuse me. Look, I don't care what urgent reason you have, I'm next in line. Oh, what's Aisuka doing here? Why are so many Ida students waiting on this floor? It's hard to even get through this crowd. Don't worry, Aisuka. I don't mind giving up my spot for you. It's not that much of a problem to wait a little longer to visit my sick friend. We weren't trying to cut in line. So they all came here to pay a visit to a patient. But who is it? It's kind of them to visit a sick friend. But arriving in such numbers is sure to be a nuisance to the hospital staff. 
Let's speak with this patient and see what the matter is. Boy, we're just gonna walk right in, huh? Hello, maybe come in? Nobody's answering. Maybe the room is empty. Or the patient is in really bad condition and cannot speak. We'll have to just let ourselves in. You are the king. After you, your highness. Wait. The crowd disappeared? Did any of you see them vanish? No, when I looked they were already gone. Same. Then they all slipped away when we were not paying attention? That's impossible. You can't seriously think a horde of students could leave in a matter of seconds without making any noise. Something eerie is going on here, or it's a really clever trick. I have a very bad hunch about this. Let's check who's inside the room. Who is it? It's Saki, isn't it? What's it doing? Uh, <laughs> well, well, well. Hello, portal thing. That's an entrance to the dream world. Why couldn't my hunch be wrong? Someone must have eaten a dark apple in this room. Ops room? Aisuka here. Yes, it's an emergency. I need you to cordon off the third floor of the hospital, university hospital ASAP. We've encountered an entrance to the dream world. Take any measures you see fit to ensure the safety of hospital staff and patients while we investigate this. This incident sure has taken a turn for the worse. You're keeping me on your investigation investigation team, aren't you? Of course. Really grateful you offered to help. Looks like we'll need it. We got the hiccups now. Maybe last time you got lucky solving the Dream World case, but if you can pull it off again, I'll give it to you that you're good. Let's see how it goes. I'll do what I can. We have no way of knowing what to expect inside this Dream World. Make sure you're well prepared before we jump in. Oh, oh yeah. Let's, yeah, Dream World this bad boy up. I ain't scared of no Dream World. the abrupt disappearance of the visitors wasn't an elaborate trick, then we can assume it was caused by this dream world. Perhaps the unexplained phenomena occurring all around Ida City have something to do with the dream world. We've got to proceed with utmost caution. If Claude is right, then... Well, it's pointless to be making as assumptions based on guesswork instead of looking into this ourselves. No telling what awaits us inside. Are you ready to go in? Yeah, let's jump in. Here we go! Where are we? Seems to be the cargo bus. It's a very small dream world, but let us not underestimate it. There may be dangers aplenty. And here are some foes right on cue. Oh, hello, dragon -y guy. Oh, Claude is actually part of this group. Why didn't I bring Aisuka? She's gotta be stronger than Foran. Considering I don't use Foran for anything. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Probably stronger than freaking... What's her nuts down here, too? There we go. Also, Claude should be somebody I swap in. Give me that wind zone. That was too easy. Seems we've taken out all of them. Now let's look for the dreamer of this world. There aren't many places to hide in the cargo bus, so it shouldn't take us long. Next stop is Ida City, City Entrance. Seriously?
<laughs> Look at the butterflies. This looks like Ida City. This is going to be a nightmare. I'm kind of hoping that we just got brought back to the real Ida City by mistake somehow. Yeah, good luck with that, Claude. Slim chances of that. See these ethereal butterflies? If this dream world is a replica of Ida City, it must be huge. Yes, that would make it the biggest dream world we've ever encountered. The size of a dream world reflects the imagination of its dreamer. It's little wonder that imagination of this caliber would not be, could not be contained here and affected the real world. You mean... Even for a dream world, this one is extraordinary. Well then, we'd better get started with the investigation. Heh, your confidence speaks volumes of your resourcefulness. Don't take anything for granted. It may seem similar to the real world, but it is not. Let's start by collecting information from people by the city entrance and in the Garden of Ida. Oh, there are actually people here, huh? Interesting. That's a whole crap. Special issue, hot off the press. This Aisuka is amazing. The newspaper is cho chock full of articles about her latest achievements. There's nothing she can't do. The rest of the student council is just a waste of space. Hmm. That's not true and very rude. Oh, I didn't notice you, Aisuka. Acting alone, I wouldn't have been able to solve half the cases reported to the council. You're incredible, Aisuka. The best the rest of the council can do is stay out of your way. Maybe that's why they're all hiding away in Aqua Hills. Hmm. Huh? There's something really odd about Aisuka. Let's go. I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. Even though I'm aware that they're not real and won't listen to me anyway. Don't apologize. I'd have done the same. They were really getting on my nerves. I was surprised though. The dream world should be centered around its dreamer. Why is everyone idolizing me? It's as if you were the dreamer. That's not even funny. I'm not in the best of moods to begin with. It's really affecting you, isn't it? That's pretty unusual for you. Let's carry on and see if we can piece this puzzle together. Interesting. Is Aisuka the dreamer? Nose is itchy as crap today. Is there anything I can help you with? Injuries? Cold? Any health concerns? I'm happy to offer assistance. Or advice. That's a different A-word. If we play along, we may be able to get some information out of him. Well, maybe? Ah, but I'd like to recommend you to a brand new miracle drug. It cures any illness. It's called... No, I shouldn't just casually reveal the name of this revolutionary medicine. It's a panacea that confounds science. I'll tell you where to find it. They have it at the University Hospital. It's true. Go and see for yourselves. This may be obvious, but since this world plays by rules of its own, there may exist a panacea cure in it. A cure we can only dream of. Existing in a dream world. Figures. It may be very important to the dreamer. I think that's one lead, but let's look for more clues. Actually, gotta, like re-explore this place, huh? All right. Are there gonna be fights in here, or are we just? Oh yeah, there are. Oh yes, it's. Oh, it's like the same monsters as the last place. Hmm. Damn, Claude is fast. Oh uh, yeah, I gotta start collecting cocoons, dreams. Come on, there we go. 
I saw her, the idea member that's so thin she's barely there. The vice chair? I've caught glimpses of her, but never had the opportunity to have a chat. She's a real role model. I wish I could be like her. She was flying above the Aqua Hills. She's the only one deserving to be the vice chair to Aisuka. Yes, it's not easy to be an assistant to someone who's walking perfection. Huh? I didn't know idea had a vice chair. It does not. At least not in the real world. That's another piece of the puzzle. What else do we have? Yeah, these people are going hard for Asuka. Fighting keeps me awake. Ah, uh, this place. I love the dream ropes because they do the thing where the music stays. And I don't know why I love that so much. It's just like, it's such a huge step towards setting the tone, like... Anytime the music doesn't change when you go into battle, I'm just like... I wish I was musically gifted in any way, because I absolutely love video game music. I can play a recorder though. No big deal. Was the hospital on fire as usual? As usual. I will rest assured it was burning brightly. Whew, I get really worried whenever the flames die down. Can't rely on getting any help then. You worry, Wirt. It's on fire, so everything's alright. Well, that's awkward. So in this world, the hospital being on fire is a good thing? Or else help doesn't come. Interesting. The dreamer might have cried for help that never came. That's another clue for us. Let's carry on. Kind of a weird uh, situation for hospital. It's also absurd, but then what was I expecting from a dream world? Let's go over our findings. Was that Aisuka that talked the first time? Okay. I'm being idolized in this world. Idea has a vice chair who can fly and was seen in Aqua Hills. The other location of importance seems to be the hospital which is on fire and offers a cure-all drug. So our two points of interest are the hospital and Aqua Hills. I've never been to the Aqua Hills in the real world. You can't access it without a special pass. There's a funny rumor about that. Lots of students believe that it's because the top floor of Aqua Hills is where the head of Idea has her apartment. Heh, <laughs> people really think that? True or not, I bet your pass can get us in. What works in the real world will not necessarily work here, and vice versa. The quickest way to find out is to go there and give it a try. We could just go there and hope for the best, but maybe we should head to the hospital first? I doubt we'll get to the bottom of this without investigating both locations. You choose where we go first, Aldo. You've escaped unharmed from all sorts of tricky situations before. I hope you won't regret passing on responsibility to me. Okay, so... The hospital or Aqua Hills? Hmm. I'm gonna go to Aqua Hills first, to be honest. I haven't been there. You're gonna make me walk back there? Like, I was literally right outside the hospital a minute ago. You're gonna make me walk all the way back to it. Oh, Aqua Hills is off to the right. Okay. <clears throat> At least I'm getting a fair amount of uh, the Aqua Hills for real. Oh, do I have to complete these two different uh, side quests? Interesting. Okay, then let me try my pass. It's probably going to be a long video. Number A54, Miss Aisuka. Auth entry authorized. Welcome home. It worked? Just as I suspected, the dream world is primarily based on reality. I think it would be hasty to conclude that now. Hmm, I suppose you're right. 
Now, up ahead are the Aqua Hills. There were two rumors about Aqua Hills, weren't there? Yes, the rumor about the floating white uniform and the slanderous rumor about Idea, minus Aisuka. Chill out, Claude. I'm not pleased about it either, but there's no point in getting angry. Let us investigate. That's fine. I mean, if this is all part of this chapter, I guess we're going to have to do it all. It's all going to be one video, even though there's three quests involved in here, apparently. So this is Aqua Hills. It's like a castle. This is somewhere people live, right? It's fit for royalty. It may well be. It may well. <laughs> Enough joking around. It doesn't appear to be as, as as simple a construction as it is in reality. Don't get lost, Aldo. Have you been to the real Aqua Hills, Claude? He's a king. We'd be a lie to say I haven't. Yeah, you are royalty after all. Wouldn't surprise me if you lived here. Claude has earned enough I Ida bits to live here, but his finances go towards investigating the kingdom. Quite simply, I cannot afford to skimp on anything for the sake of my mission, be it Ida bits or otherwise. Your backgrounds are so different. Anyway, let's get on with the search. Yes, let's. It says, elevated to the even number of floors. For some reason, it's stuck on the 12th floor. It appears to be out of order. Let's find another way. <laughs> I'll teach you a lesson. No oh, my. I'm just happy we're doing another quest where Joker can swap in and murder everybody. This elevator goes to the odd number of floors. Please pick select the floor. Actually, you know what? We're going to hold off. Oh, well, it doesn't look like there's much more to it. Alright, let's go to 13. Uh huh. Did we pick correctly? Hello, guy. They don't respond to your calls. Their glazed over eyes seem to be looking at another world. Okay. Lines are just almost, like his whole story is about trying to sleep, man. Hmm. I can hear a noise coming from inside, but it won't open. Hmm. It appears this elevator won't open like this. But if we can't use it, it will limit where we can go. <laughs> I said it wouldn't open like this, didn't I? Like this. Don't you remember Saki's precious memory fragments in her dream world? Do you mean the things the child Saki was calling radiance? Though their shapes may differ, memory fragments float around all dream worlds, and often showing them to obstacles let you break through. Was that not true in Saki's dream world? They are like keys to open the doors to the dreamer's mind, though I am still researching exactly how. I see. We did get something radiant in this dream world, too. Indeed, let us see whether this way will open for us if we show it memory fragments. Let us see if it reacts. If we do not have enough, we can simply collect more. Okay then, let's show it the memory fragments we have. Do we have enough? Yes, maybe. Hmm, not yet. Let's search for more fragments. Oh, how many do we have? Let's find out real quick. Uh, actually, we can go to... Records, episodes, this should show us, right? We've got 500. I figured we'd have more than that. I feel like we've been in several fights and we're getting, like, quite a few per fight, right? There's 40. 
Alright, monsters, come out. Alright, so we're at 540. Oh, 600. So we need seven more fights, it looks like. Yeesh. Alright, come on. Six sixty. I tell you what, anytime you want fights, they sure don't show up. You must learn to accept the pain. Yikes, all right. Seven twenty. I like how Claude carries a sword on his hip, but he uses a bow. Ooh, am I gonna get extra because there's three enemies this time? I'm at 720. Ooh, 810. So, four more battles? Unless I get another three. And then it'll be three more. Unless there's also a one, and then it'll be four more again. Alright, this will be 870. <clears throat> to be 9.30. <laughs> Come on, three enemies. Come on, three enemies. Give me three enemies. Give me three enemies. Poop. 990. Gonna leave me hanging with 990. Alright. That's fine. One more fight. <clears throat> One more fight. All right, all right. Oh, of course, now it gives me a three. <clears throat> That's fine. This should break a thousand. Oh, look, the door opened. Or is the, the thing changed? It said, come in, bro. The memory fragments have reacted. So will the doors open if we press the button now? Oh, oh there were monsters in there. The source of the noise must have been these monsters. Screech! This box moves! Weird! Boxes don't move! Screech! They don't appear to be the sort that can be persuaded by logic. Then let's force them away. If... If don't want to be hit by my arrows, flee now. Let's explore. What a nuisance. Now we can finally go to the top floor. It appears, though, that not only the layout, but the inhabitants of the building are different. Oh, there aren't monsters in this building in the real world? That's weird. They all wear white uniforms, but none of them are idealists in reality. They look artificial in some way. It appears to be a place in this dream world where the dreamer's creativity is particularly active. Does that mean the dreamer doesn't know this place very well? Hmm. It appears the dreamer has at least some knowledge of the place. I suppose the interior and furnishings of Aqua Hills are occasionally reported on in the media. That would explain it. But I doubt it will do us any good in determining the dreamer's identity. What shall we do? I am intrigued by the floating white uniformed girl. I think we have no choice but to see the top floor first. 
There is likely something waiting there for us. We must prepare carefully. Top floor. It goes to the even number of floors, but it'll take me to the first floor. Interesting. So this is the top floor. Doesn't look much different from the other floors. Oh, except for that. Here we are. A welcome befitting the top floor. Excuse me. There's always a dragon at the top of the tower in the legends of my kingdom. We must be the bandits. Well, if it's going to get in the way, we're not going to hold back. Let's go, Aisuka. Cloud. Cloud. Claude. <laughs> Cloud. That's okay. Uh, let's have you swap out since you're not really suited for fighting anything right now. Swap you out. Bring Joker. In. No, just do this. Oh, well, I expected a little bit more damage. That's fine. That's fine. Hey, three hundred more cocoon streams. Excellent. Whew, we defeated it. There was no walk in the park. It was certainly a worthy foe. In other words, there was something here it didn't want us to see. I'm interested in the structure of this floor, too. A moment. What's up, Aisuka? Well, I thought it was noisy around here. Who are you? Oh, it's the flying chick. That's the floating white uniform? You aren't a white uniform. Who is the white uniform gentleman over there? Surely you know my name, if you are an idealist. My name is Claude. I will not say it again. Who exactly are you? What a strange man. You must know me if you are an idealist. I am Mayu, the vice chair of idea. I don't know how many times I say it, though. And did you invite a non-idealist to Aqua Hills in spite of the uniform you wear? Hmph. Invited, you say, but I am the uninvited guest here. I have no idea what you're talking about, but please refrain from any foolish actions. This tower is pristine. It is only open to those who wear the white uniform. Oh, well, well. The white uniform commands a lot of status. You are very strange. I must report this to the relevant authority. Now excuse me, try not to cause a disturbance in the serene tower of the white uniform. Especially do not try and enter my room. There is no way for you to do so, of course. Thanks for being gone for that whole thing. Did I miss something? The floating white uniform. We were talking to her just now. I see. You saw her then. Tell me what happened. Mayu, I have heard that name before, but there is no mistake she is not a member of IDEA. In which case you have made some very odd acquaintances. No, I can't recall her. She must be someone with whom I have no deep connection with at present, at least. Well, she is so interested in IDEA that she calls herself the Vice Chair. You will surely remember once we gather more information. Now for the University Hospital. Based on what happened here, I'm expecting something strange. Okay, well that side quest is done, but we still have the rest of this chapter of... Idea Part 2 here. <clears throat> Alright, back to the first floor. Alright, to the hospital now. <clears throat> Organa's cackle kills me every time.
four ends up to 57. My little placeholder. Alright, Hypnos Hospital. The group decides to investigate some rumors about the University Hospital. There's an area they've been to before, and yet. There were two rumors about the University Hospital, weren't there? Yes, the rumor of the cure-all medicine and that of the burning ward. Let's see the burning ward first. The medicine might take a while to find. I agree with Claude. Let's head for the burning ward. Quest accepted. Ba -ba. All right. We should start by locating the ward that's on fire. We can do that from outside. It'll be easy to spot. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought we were going into the hospital. Well, there's fire. <laughs> this looks like a nice place to be. All fiery and stuff. Ugh, this is hot. Yeah, it's fire, homeboy. It looks like the rumor was true. But this place... Do you know something about it? This is the place that burned down several years ago in the real world. I seem to remember it was a ward for advanced care that made use of special research. <clears throat> but if it's burning like this, I don't really want to go inside. Let's leave this until later and search the other wards first. Yo, I tried to do that, and you yelled at me. But I guess when it's your idea, Aisuka, that's fine. Don't listen to me. Everybody's asleep. What is this? It's so quiet in here, my ears are ringing. It looks as if all these people are asleep standing. Are they sleeping? It's a little creepy. They don't look ready to wake up anytime soon. Let's go to the fourth floor first. Fourth floor? Have you forgotten room 404? Where the entrance to the dream world was. There must be something there. Huh? Sorry, but I don't think we can go straight there. What makes you think that, Mighty? Ha ha ha. I kind of get on with these guys. I can hear them speaking. I think I'm the only one who can. You look so ordinary and yet you have such uncanny skills. Well, I won't deny that either. But I'll help you get up there. It's kind of, I'm kind of interested in what's happening. How did you get in here? What an excellent proposal. We're counting on you, Mighty. Right then. Let's hear what all these sleepy folk have to say, shall we? But seriously, Mighty, how did you get in here? Backup power room. The door is locked. It's freaking me out that Mighty just showed up, man. We're in the middle of this dream world, and he just rolls in here. Is he even a real Mighty? I mean, he's already with us. Just weird that he showed up like he did. Elevator is out of service. It needs a power supply. So we gotta find a way to get into the room to get the backup power supply for the elevator, I guess. Or to turn the elevator on. We can just go up. Stairs don't require power. <laughs> what a boring partner. We're just going to the fourth floor, right? 
So we should climb whenever we can, I guess. Oh, the whole, like, okay. Learn to accept the pain. Like, the whole hospital is dark. I know I say this all the time, but the music in this game just amazes me. Okay, well, not here. Let's go explore down here a little bit more. Rewards. I like rewards. <clears throat> That's it. Just there's a butterfly here. I'll teach you a lesson. Okay. <clears throat> Guess I gotta finish exploring the first floor. Let's go fight this horror. Yeah, clog. Try for triumph. I mean, I guess my quest marker did tell me I was gonna have to go into that power room down there, so. This is no place to nap. Oh, oh, my friend. You've made a terrible mistake being weak to wind. Oh, my friend. Okay. Oh lord, I'm missing something obvious here. So, runes, I'm not feeling so great. So I come here and just my luck. The self-diagnosis boosts are out of order. The elevators down the doors are stuck. Long live electricity. Or something like that. Oh yeah, I guess we're going to use Mighty's power here. We're terribly sorry, but the hospital is currently experiencing a blackout, or something like that. The backup power room is down this way. The generators there store enough energy to power all the basic facilities in the hospital, or something like that. Yeah, but I can't like get into it. You must learn to accept the pain. All right. Well, that's my bad because I haven't been talking to people. I'm sure one of the people on the other floors would have solved this problem for me. Because this is still locked, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's try the other floors then. We'll finish looking at this floor to make sure we didn't miss a person here. There's a bottle of para yucky mall on the counter. Yeah. Heck yeah, I want to drink some. Let's end this nightmare. All right. So I need a key that'll get me into the backup generator. Or a key card or some sort of entrance device. The key to the backup power room has sprouted wings and taken off somewhere. Like, seriously, it turned into a butterfly. Okay, so. Where are the butterflies then? I found a butterfly, I clicked on it, and nothing happened. Did I need that piece of information first? Alright, 
nothing down here. Let's start on the third floor and work my way back down. Whoa! Whoa! Calm down, monsters. I barely got here. I can take it easy. This is the elevator, right? Yeah, the door won't open. Well, it might not be the elevator, but the door still won't open. Subjects, light the fires of war! Are there any other people here? Like, no people on the third floor? But, oh, here's a person. I was waiting for an appointment just now, and I saw a little blue butterfly floating about, fluttering about. I tried sitting perfectly still, and it came and landed on me, or something like that. Hmm. Okay. Where was that butterfly I saw then? What's down here, right? That backup power room key is a real slippery bugger. Like, literally. It's a butterfly-shaped key that makes you feel like a butterfinger is trying to catch it. Or something like that. Oh, I've got, like, an exclamation point now. Uh, spin your fingers. I don't know. Like, nothing? Oh, cancel. Oh, nice. The butterfly came toward you while you were standing motionless. You caught the blue butterfly. Okay, so there's the key. Back down to the power room. Subjects, light the fires of war! Okay, we use the backup power room key. Unlocked. Hmm, the backup power doesn't look like it's going to activate as things stand. What? But we got the key and everything. Hear me out, will you? All that means is that the definition of backup power is different here than what it is in reality. Different to reality? You don't mean... But I do. It looks like memory fragments constitute the backup power here. As long as we have some of them, the doors and elevators will work. Exactly. If we do not have enough, we can simply collect more. Okay then, let's show up the memory fragments we have. Come on. Let's have enough. Alright, looks good, looks good. wonder how many we needed. It's probably the same for both sides, isn't it? Backup power activated. All systems green. No faults detected. I guess it probably would be since it doesn't matter what... Or you get to pick which side you go to first. Now we can get through the doors that were closed to us before. All thanks to Mighty being here and talking to the sleeping people. He truly is helpful. Even if he doesn't join idea, we would certainly appreciate his cooperation. I don't mind if I'm not busy. Well, I'm usually busy finding a spot for my afternoon nap, though. I thought he'd say that. But with things like this, I doubt we can get to the fourth floor straight away. Now that we can use the elevator, let's try. Let's take it and try somewhere new. The third floor is particularly strange, so there must be something there. We can rely on Mighty again if need be. Leave it to me. In return, 
Help me out the next time the teachers ca catch me napping. He's a craft fellow. Now let's take the elevator to the third floor. Oh, this is the end, huh? Oh, wait. The third floor. We can't go to the fourth floor. They done said that. in here. Yeah, 40 dreams. Let's see if we can avoid this horror. I don't need to fight them right now, so. At least I don't think I do. Wait a moment. Wait a moment, Aldo. Huh? I'm afraid I shall have to ask you to return now. What? Two Aizukas? Is this another dream world illusion? It would appear so, but I wonder what the significance of this is. Hmm, this is a surprise. You're my doppelganger, but you say I'm intimidating you. Well, we'll find out who is the imitation of whom if we cross swords. Leave quietly, however, and we need not do anything so rash. We cannot afford to do that. I'm afraid we'll have to push past. This is one battle that interests me. Let's go, gentlemen. How foolish. Do you really believe you can still win? You're a bell toll. Okay, well, seems like a... It's certainly a piece of information. No one in this world can move faster than me. If you need proof, just allow me to demonstrate. Pathetic. Did you really think you were capable of reaching room 404? You hear another bell toll. Okay. Oh. Aldo. Aldo, wake up. Ugh, where am I? What happened? Whew, you were out cold for a while. That's strange. I'm sure we were in the university hospital. It's like a dream. Um, are you Jade's sister? Yes, I'm Saki. Thank you for your help. Aldo, you're awake. It appears we're blasted back to the city entrance. By the way, Saki, why are you in this dream world? Um, er, something was bothering me. But now I'm here, I don't know what to do. Is that so? It doesn't surprise me that you might be interested in a dream world case. I think you may need some time in a safe place to rest and gather your thoughts, Saki. Yes. Then return to the real world and go to the second floor of H block. An idealist will surely guide you to the appropriate place. Yes, you're right. I do have a lot of things to think about. Be careful, everyone. I'm going back now. I'll take her. Don't worry. I'll be right back. You can fall asleep. Good. I'm counting on you. He's gonna go. He's gonna go to sleep. Don't count on him. Oh, just my tablet stand a little bit. Now, we've more or less completed our investigation into the two matters we set out to investigate. We should go over what we've learned. There are a few more things we must investigate. Let us leave the dream world and return to the idea operations room for now. Which quest did we complete? Oh, the hospital. Okay. Whew. Not quite done here yet. Alright, let's 
let's go back. H block. Uh, second floor for an idea. Headquarters, right? Da, da. Yeah, there, there she is. Oh, who's got a quest here? Yeah, I mean, I'll go check it out later. I don't know why I'm even worried about it right now. I'm not doing that right now. I'm trying to finish this long multi-parter. It took longer than expected. Thank you for your help. No problem. I nearly... Excuse me. I nearly fell off my chair when I heard where you were going. Everyone, I have finished compiling a summary of the investigation results. Perfect. Let's have a meeting. Saki, please join us. You've experienced the dream world yourself, so your insights will be valuable for us. Sure, although I'm not sure I'll be able to help with this case. Okay, what do we have? The portal to the dream world was discovered in Ida City Medical Realm University Hospital, room 404. As such, it is reasonable to assume that the patient who is in that room is key to this case. The hospital staff told us that a long-term patient has been in that room for a considerable time. And they refuse to give us any more details, am I right? I value people's privacy, but this is making our work more difficult. Since we're trying to keep the Dream World incident secret from the public, we can't get a warrant to access confidential information. Can't blame the hospital for not divulging sensitive information. If anything, I'd be worried if they were freely talking about their patients with anyone who asked. However, this is a very unique case. The dream world is impacting the real world in very worrying ways. Is there no other way to find out the patient's identity? Excuse me. You have an idea, Saki? I know the girl who was in that hospital room, actually. Her name's Mayu. It was Mayu? That's the girl who lied about being a member of IDEA in the dream world, Aqua Hills. How do you know her? First of all, I'd like to hear what Saki was doing at the hospital. I'd come to the hospital for checkups a few times after you saved me. I was often waiting for my appointment together with Mayu, and we started chatting one day and became friends. That's pretty valuable information. Thank you, Saki. But why did you enter the dream world in Mayu's room? Also, why was Mighty there? I repeat myself. That's, er, uh, well, it's because I felt like it might have been my fault that happened to her. Why? She looked so crestfallen when I met her. I thought she was depressed like I used to be, so I tried to cheer her up, saying she just needed to think positively. Only later it occurred to me that she might have had serious issues, and my advice sounded trite and dismissive. Since then, she's nearly stopped talking to me. A few days later, I came for my appointment as usual, but she wasn't in the waiting room. I had a bad hunch and went to her room. And you found the dream world portal. I jumped into it without thinking. And yet you didn't take any action to find and save your friend in the dream world. I was afraid of my power. It's been kept in check for a long time by the Grimoire, but since that incident it's been coursing through my body freely and it's too much for me to control. Hmm, your latent power must have resonated with the dream world. I was afraid that if I tried to use my power I'd only end up hurting someone again. What a pathetic excuse. Damn Claude, chill the fuck out. We're all born with different abilities. Some of us are strong, others are weak. We've no say in the matter, but it's the responsibility of the strong to protect the weak. It's selfish to refuse to use the power you've been gifted with. Oh, homie. That's kind of harsh. I'm sorry, Saki. Claude can be blunt at times. It's true, though. I could have helped, but I didn't. Claude got so riled up only because you can see, he can see that you have this tremendous power laying dormant within you. And taking responsibility and protecting those unable to defend themselves is a sensitive issue for him. He feels this duty very strongly himself, being of royal descent. Yes. 
Back to the topic at hand. Let's assume that it was Mayu in room 404. That location is likely of key importance in the dream world. Accessing it won't be easy. The dream world Aisuka was guarding the fourth floor fiercely. She won't just let us pass through. Frustrating as it is, that's the idealized image of me created by the dreamer. It makes no difference who the dream world inhabitants are based on. They're as random as the dreamer's imagination. We can't exactly avoid a confrontation with her, though. Indeed, and that's why I think our best option is to challenge her directly again. Are you sure about this? Hmm, it's not a given that we'll lose again. We've got to keep trying until we defeat her. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> I like your enthusiasm, but what I meant is it won't be like the last time. The first time round, we approached her without any idea of her role in the dream world. Now we're aware of her being very powerful in that world. And all the information we've gathered may help us find her weakness. Precisely. What do you think of my plan, Claude? That was my plan too. It hurts my royal pride to be the loser. I'm up for a rematch. Can I... Can I come with you? Forget it. You gave me a lot to think about, and I'm not sure how I feel about using my powers, but... Mayu is my friend, so I'd like to do something for her. Weren't you listening? We've got one heck of a tough battle awaiting us. I don't think Saki's presence would be a problem. At the very least, she can take care of herself. Besides, she's the only one of us with a personal connection to Mayu. Dream worlds reflect the dreamer's state of mind which Saki is in a better position than us to understand. I'm still not sure it's a good idea. What do you think, Aldo? Claude and I won't agree on this from the looks of it. If you could weigh in and break the impasse. Yes, what's your vote, Aldo? Hmm, well... Why not let her come? There's strength in numbers. Hmm. That's not illogical, but... I was just joking. Rather than be arguing about it, unable to make a decision, let's just give it a try and see how it goes. So, I can come with you? Well, we asked him for his opinion. It's not what I was hoping to hear, but it is what it is. That's settled then. Come with us, Saki, but please, be cautious and don't try to be a hero. Doing everything I can here. Saki joined the party. We gained Saki. Once we're in the dream world, we'll head straight to the hospital where my double was. Make sure to prepare well. To prepare well, it will be a tough battle. Let's meet here in the ops room when we're ready. And finally, we complete chapter two of Ida School, part two, Butterflies City and Heaven's Cradle. So that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed watching, feel free to check me out over at twitch.tv slash corndog913. Otherwise, I will see you in the next episode. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.